Hello everyone, it's Michelle Brown, and today is my son, Matthew Brown, who is hard to see in the front seat. Today is his 11th birthday. Wow, I cannot believe how fast the time has gone, and that Matthew is already 11 years old. Happy birthday, Matthew. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Today, we have actually decided we are going to look at a house that might be possible for us, because we have been living in a rental home since we moved out of our house on Hunnable Court. And, yeah. So we are decided we're going to look at a house on Hunnable Lane and to see if it is the one for us. So, yes, let's get going. Because it is currently 2.17pm and the showing is at 2.30. So if we leave now, we'll have enough time to get there. So, yeah, so just going to jump on the highway here. Um, we could go through that way, um, sure. Okay. We'll just do a loop around here. What in the world? Is that Christine? Who's Christine, Mom? Remember she was one of our former neighbors? Is that Christine in my old house? What in the world? And... Is that Jonah? Who? Who's Jonah? They used to live on the street, remember? They used to live up the street from us when we lived here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Did, did they buy my old house from the people that bought it from us? They must have. Oh, my God. But anyways, we have to get going because I should be... We need to get to the house viewing. Oh, these stairs are so dusty. Move over for the bus. Honk! Yes, we remember they still in this house right here. Oh, yeah, I don't know who lives there now. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, here's the house. Down here. Yeah, oh my gosh, there's a lot of traffic. This one, Mom? Yeah, we... this one. Hello! Can we come for the house viewing? Oh, hello! Are you Michelle Brown? Yes, I am. Perfect, just pull right in. I'd, I'd love to give you a tour. Yes. Okay, let's pull right in. Yes, well, welcome to the Temple of your Lane. Thank you for booking a private showing, but we have also the open house on um, Sunday, August 20th. Yes, um, yes, okay. So yes, um, well, you can come inside and we can, I can give you a tour around. Okay, that, that would be nice. Because, I mean, it looks like it might work. Is it a three-bedroom house? Um, yes. So yes, welcome home. Oh, well, it is a bit small, the floor plan. How, yeah, yes. I know it is a little bit small, but the kitchen was renovated in 2021. The main bathroom upstairs was renovated last year, and the family that lived here has lived in this home for over a year. So, yeah, sadly, the whole family, the family that lived here, all perished in, in a crane, crane, plane accident. So unfortunately, they will the um, the the money of the home was just going to the bank. And all of their furniture got bought for donations. Yeah, because in the pictures it looked like family was still living here. Yeah, well that family sadly all passed away. Oh my god, that's horrible. Yeah. But anyways, um, this home is looking for its next owner. It has... Um, your, where we're standing is the living room. I like the floor in the kitchen. Yes, that was remodeled. But... Wait a second, I'm no handy woman, but there seems to be a bit of a lip on the floor here. Like, is it just glued down or something? Um, ma'am, don't try. So I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, this floor was just, like, glued onto this floor. Um, real estate agent. 
Well, thanks for letting me know, but it's different flooring because it's the kitchen. <laughs> um, with lots of storage. Um, okay. This is the living room. Oh, they forgot to take down a bunch of pictures. Yes, they did. But you can easily put in your own pictures if you want. And then that's the backyard entrance right here. Um, so everything that's left in the home is yours. So everything that's left comes to the house. Um, and possession of this home, well, basically any time since it's empty right now. Okay, well, let's go look in the backyard. This is a pretty nice backyard. Yes, it was. It was fully fenced in last year. Um, so yes, the owners put up this beautiful fence here. So then your whole property is safe and surrounded because there is the road right there. Um, you have neighbors behind you and neighbors across the street from you, as you can see. Yes, that is very nice. Trust me, I remember a lot of neighbors around here, so yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, I used to live up, up the street, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah, and then upstairs, there was a main bathroom, um, and then two bedrooms upstairs. And downstairs, there was a den, um, like, hobby area, um, your laundry room is downstairs, there was a two-piece bath, and yeah, oh, okay. Here is one of the bedrooms. Oh, with a bath. Yes, yeah, so what you could do is put your master bedroom in here. And this could be the master ensuite, and then put your children up in the loft bedroom. So is that technically the loft? Yes, this is also a good one bedroom home if, for this bedroom to be for yourself, and then upstairs could be your loft. Y yeah, I guess so. I mean, everything is just smaller here. I mean, the bedrooms are smaller, the living room, the kitchen, the bedrooms are smaller. Yes, I know, it is quite small compared to across the street, because they have a mansion across the street, and yeah, but, you know, it would work, I would think, for the three of you. Yeah, it probably would. <laughs> so yes, this is your um bathroom, and then upstairs is the um loft bedroom that I can show you next. Okay, well the bathroom was went nicely renovated. It used to be a two-piece bathroom that was renovated in 2021, but then they added in a tub last year, because there was, actually no, there was a three-piece bath downstairs with a shower, but the owners wanted a bathtub, so they added in this soaker tub. But it could be recommissioned and turned back into a two-piece bath to, and then open this up to into a bigger bedroom space. But it all depends on your lifestyle and your budget. Okay, let's go upstairs. And here is your uh, master bedroom, or second bedroom. Um, it is a good size, but it is very tight because the roof is... It, you have slanted ceilings. But you have a nice window right here overlooking the street. And then this window where you're standing overlooking the um, side of the house. Yes, that is very nice. Yeah, it is a nice house, I think. And you have a nice little patio out front and a nice single car driveway. And a very good neighborhood. I hope this house is on the cheaper side. Yes, your home, um, this house is 630000 Pardon me? 630000 630. 630? Oh my god. Last year, my old house only sold for five forty. We listed at four ninety nine. Why is this house so expensive? I mean, I ha I had a newer kitchen and new bathroom too. Well, it's called the cost of living, ma'am. Everything the housing market has gone up. Oh my God, that much for this? Well, you are getting a fully finished home, ma'am. Detached home in a wonderful neighborhood, close to great schools and lots of amenities. Yes, but that's a lot of money. I don't, I can't afford that. I, th I think we're better off renting, don't you think, boys? Well, 
I mean, yeah, I think we should, we're going to stay where we are. Because we've been there a year now. And it's not too bad. So, yeah, we're, no thank you. This house is way too much. Goodbye. Um, okay, bye. 630000 Are you kidding me? I don't have that kind of money. Bye. Bye, boys. Yeah, that is way too much for this house, I think. <sighs> Didn't get a sale. Hopefully, the open house, we can get a sale. Yeah, look at how small it is. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Let's visit Susanna. The car is home. Okay. Mom, are you sure? I haven't even seen Suzanne in a while. Yes, boys. We should go visit her. Yes, Darren. It is so nice that you were able to get home earlier today. Yeah. Well, you know, it is around 3 o'clock in my regular time. Um, that was the doorbell. Do, were you expecting anyone today, today, Suzanne? No, I wasn't. Maid! I'm upstairs vacuuming your bedroom, dear. <sighs> I'll get it. No, Darren, I'll get it. No, 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 I'll get it, Suzanne. Okay. We have so many people that come to our house. Oh, my gosh, Michelle, hello. Hi, Darren. We were just in the neighborhood looking at an open house. Um, the, Your neighbor's house next door. Um, Can we come in? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Who's here, Darren? It's Michelle Brown. Oh, my God, Michelle, it's been a while. Yes, it has. Oh, wow, Matthew, Jacob, they have gone a bit bigger. Yeah, well, Matthew's 11 today. 11? Wow. And Jacob is 7. 6. Well, 6 and a half. Wow. Come on in, guys. Yeah, so you guys were in the area? Darren said hi. Yeah, hello. Yes, we were. Um, yeah. We, um, were just looking at a house, um, your neighbor's house next door. And it is small. Temporary lane. Oh, my God. A lot of people try to say it's, like, our house because it's three levels because they try to call the our upper floor the attic. But it's not, honestly. It is, it is like, so small compared to our house. I mean, although when you think about it, it is a similar layout because the kitchen is on the same side, the bathroom. But, yeah, we have a, we have a bigger house. Yeah, way bigger. But, yeah, they're asking 630000 how are you kidding me? Darren, if we tried to sell our house, how much do you think we could get for it? Oh, Suzanne, I don't know. I mean, probably not much more than like 750 at least. I mean, the neighbors across the street are getting like 800000 and for, um, well, the Corman family, they sold the house for 800000 Um, the Hollinger family, they sold the house for eight oh five. So, I mean, we could get up there, but, I mean, that house is, like, nothing up there to your guys' place, and it's almost just as much. I know, like, if you had the money, honestly, buy one of the bigger houses on the lane, yeah. But anyways, Michelle, how are you? You guys are looking to move again? Oh, I'm good, yeah, well, I, I'm just thinking about it, possibly, because, I mean, I have my mother living with me, so... Still, so we're, together we can pay the rent at our current place. Oh yeah, you guys didn't buy after you sold your house. Nope, we kept the money in the bank. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. We we do like it, just... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed though Christine McGoy was at my old house. What's going on with that? Oh, did you know that your old house was for sale? It was? Where, why was I? Well, yeah, it it went for sale um in July, like in the last month, and it sold too. Christine just moved in a few weeks ago now. Oh my god. How much did it sell for? Um, here, I can look that up. I'm going to go get the laptop quick. Maid, yes, dear? Can you get me the laptop? I'm in your bedroom still. Oh, I went all the way up. Darren's going to look it up on the computer. Your old house sold for 600000 Six hundred thousand? We only got, um, that's like a thousand more than what we got, because I was only asking four ninety nine when we sold. Yeah, and then we got, so, 
the people that bought our house moved. Yeah, we're kind of glad they moved. Oh my god, they, it was Gabriella who was a screaming girl, and Travis and her brother and their parents. Yeah, they, I was pretty glad when they moved away, but yeah, um, they got 600000 for their house, and Christine was able to buy it, but I helped her. So why wouldn't you help me? Oh, Michelle, don't think of it like that. Um, well, she, like, please don't feel bad, but she was just, she was wanting to move out of a condo and into a house again, so... I helped her with that with Jonah because he's helping paying the bills there now because he's working and she's, um, I mean, does she work still? Well, yeah, she does. She, she just works in an office job now. It's too hard on her knee. Her knee? Yeah. Didn't you remember that she got in a, her knee? Oh, yeah, I think I remember hearing that. Yeah. Mom? Yes, Matthew? Can we go? Matthew, that's kind of rude. Well, sorry, I, I, I'm just kind of bored staying here listening to you guys talk. Um, well, sure, we, sorry, Suzanne. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, we can go home and see what Grandma's doing. Okay, it's at 3.30 now, okay. Well, thanks for popping over, Michelle. Anytime, you're always welcome. Yeah, thanks, you're welcome. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. It was a nice visit. Yeah. Let's just say, boys, we'll probably never be back here to live here again. Yeah. We'll be happy in our house. Bye.